Is there a such thing as a wrong career move? Why or why not? No. Um, I don't think there's the wrong move. I think there are moves that are better than others, but every move is information, right? I've made career moves that I thought were the right move at the time, um, and then I realized later I made that move out of fear of something else or out of lack of confidence. Um, there were times when I knew I should have gone out on my own, but I got nervous and I talked myself out of it and I took a day job instead and like immediately realized, oh God, this is the wrong fit for me. But I don't regret that move at all because it taught me a little bit more about myself and it made me better prepared for the next time I was faced with that decision. When I was like, I wanna go out on my own, but eh, am I ready? I was able to then reflect and say, hey, remember that other time you didn't do it? You learned from that. So there are no wrong moves. And I think people that get really wrapped up in fear of making the wrong move are just procrastinating on doing something that I think they know could be really great for them. Um, we often in our gut know the right move, whether we choose to accept that move or not is up to us. Um, but never fear that what you're gonna do is the wrong thing. I just, I don't necessarily believe in destiny or like everything's already happened, it's you know just unfolding. I think we all make decisions every day and whatever decision you make will teach you something for better or worse. But make sure you're paying attention in those moments and using that going forward. So even if you feel like, oh man, I shouldn't have done this. Cool, learn from it, move on, don't dwell on it. Mm -hmm. I'm a young woman that wants to express my ideas, but my family doesn't believe in me. What should I do? I mean, that one's tough because I'm pretty sure my family never was given a choice to believe in me. I was like, you're believing in me. Um, but I get it. I have a lot of friends who growing up didn't feel confident expressing what they knew to be true about themselves or didn't feel like they found their voice until after they left you know, for college or whatever. Your family doesn't have to be the only sounding board in your life. And that's where your community again comes in, right? Your community or your chosen family. Like your friends, your supporters, those are the people that you're actively seeking out in this world um, who have something in common with you, who can support you, who want to support you. And so you build that community full of people that you do feel comfortable being vocal around and speaking your truth around. And your family is your family. They're not going anywhere. You know, hopefully they love you no matter what, but the people that you choose to surround yourself with not are more important, but their opinions are just as valid, you know? And so if you're not getting that validation from your actual family, get it from your chosen family. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.